Hey guys, what's up? It's just Connor here. Hope you have an amazing day as per usual. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something a little unique, something that we haven't spoke about on the channel before. You can probably know there's a bit of a recurring theme when it comes to talking about personal development because I really enjoy it. Because generally I do believe is success and wealth, it's all created up here before it's created out here, right? It's all what your internal reality reflects your external reality. And that's really a big thing that we talk about uh, with a lot of the community members inside the RSA. Now, I'm going I'm to break this down in a lot more in depth inside the RSA, but I wanted to come and flesh out these ideas just at a very high level, <clears throat> just for those that watch my YouTube channel, because I think you might find it very, very valuable. Whether or not you're somebody who's been trying to make money online for a very long time, maybe you've just found my channel and you're just looking into high ticket sales and you're looking to see if oh, like making money online is real and remote sales, all that type of stuff or you've bought a program, you've been struggling to get results, and that's why you watch my channel, right? To use my free stuff to get the results that the gurus originally promised you. And a lot of the stuff on my channel is pretty agreeable that it's it's better than a lot of gurus' uh, paid trainings, right? That's what I'd build it for, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. So I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine, Jordan, as I mentioned before, uh, who I'm living with in Vietnam at the moment, up until October this year at the time of recording this, right? And we came up across this, this topic of mindset, money mindset and, and beliefs and how it ties into this system, which I'm going to share with you guys today. And we just had this constant electrifying back and forth dialogue about it because we were just so excited and we could resonate with it so well. I think a lot of you who watch my channel will really enjoy this topic because generally I do think this is a very, very large reason as to why... 99% or not 99% that's a silly number a very high number of people aren't successful making money online whether or not they get a course whether or not they get the right strategy it's because they don't have the mind right they don't have the set expectations and they don't have the beliefs which I'm going to go back here in a second so I'm going to take you through the formula the algorithm and how it works and then I'm going to explain as to why it's so important so essentially what we talked about was beliefs and belief is just super, super interesting. I was actually talking with Jordan about my journey and what it was like making money online since, you know, starting when I was 18, 17 years old, practically 16 technically, but I didn't really actually seriously do anything properly until 18 years old. I kind of fart assed around for a couple of years, um, as we all do in the online space, or at least I know most people to go through the journey, try a bunch of things, they don't work, try a bunch of courses, don't really do them very much, and then you don't get you much, a lot of results, right? And essentially, we're talking about belief, and Jordan recognized, which I didn't really, uh, wasn't super aware of up until now, is that even since a very young age, I've always had an unwavering self-belief in myself. And this obviously comes from the way I've been brought up. I've obviously had a very amazing upbringing. I have an amazing parents, things like that. But for me, I've always had this internal drive to push forward and want more, be more, right? And so that belief has completely carried me through my entire process. And without me kind of realizing it, uh, it's basically unconsciously been piling my journey ever since I got started. Let me explain what I mean by that. So when I first got started in the high ticket sales space, if you haven't watched my video on my honest experience in high ticket sales, I'll explain to you. When I first got started in the industry, I made a bad investment, probably in the wrong person. If I didn't invest in them, I probably wouldn't be here talking to you today, doing what I'm doing. So I'm grateful for that. But the training was not very good, right? It wasn't good from a sales perspective. It wasn't good for finding a job's perspective. It wasn't good at vetting offers. It wasn't good at interviewing. None of that stuff. I had to figure it out. Oh, hitting the mic there. I had to figure it all out myself, right? There was no one really there to help me, right? I had a mentor, but I didn't really have one. I just kind of had to figure it out my own. And that led me to not getting results for almost six months to a year. I'm talking any type of result, anything. But I'd spent so much money that I was committed to getting a result. But the thing is, this is the problem with most people in the space. I'm going to talk about bad coaches and mentors and, and how that can significantly delay your progress by months, if not years, if you select the wrong mentor. And if completely, may not even, uh, may, may uh, warrant you not getting any results at all, right? Throughout the process, like I mentioned, I had a bad process, a bad strategy, I had a bad mentor, but I still persisted. It was because I had an unwavering self-belief that it worked. I knew that people were out there doing what I wanted to do. I just had to figure out, I just had to make it work. I had to get it done, right? 
And so I just persisted. And even when I, you know, if you watch my, you know, experience in getting into high ticket sales video, when I pitched a multi seven figure business owner at 19 years old, no idea what I'm talking about. I had some, del- some form of delusional self belief in myself that I could do this. In fact, when I walked in the room with no, almost barely any sales experience, I said, you know, to my mum before actually going in the conversation and more importantly myself that I'm going to walk away with this conversation with a $10,000 sales management consulting contract, or I'm going to get a sales management job. I was so certain and convicted in my belief in that. And it was, it was definitely delusional, but it worked, right? Oddly enough, it worked. Now, let me talk about why that is so important. So there's a bit of an equation here. Beliefs, thoughts, actions, reality, feedback. This is not an uncommon formula, right? It's very well known in personal development. Some of you may be hearing that for the first time. Really, what we're saying there is beliefs create the foundational pillars for what you have today. The way that you've been brought up, the, the people that you surround yourself by, the, everything just in general in your environment all creates your belief system. Now, your belief system actually is the only thing that will enable you to create the results that you want. If you don't believe it's possible, you won't do it, right? And this is, this is very, very interesting observing. At the moment, we're getting into paid advertising for the business and obviously reaching new people uh, and reaching new audiences so we can continue to grow the RSA at the pace I'd like, right? And all the time, it's absolutely hilarious. I get on the ads, scammer, pyramid scheme, uh, fake, not real, guru, right? These people don't know me, right? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know me a little bit better than these people do after seeing a quick little ad, right? And so I don't take it personally, of course, but... What they're doing is they're projecting because they themselves don't believe that this is possible. Why? Because their belief system is broken, right? What you believe to be true is true, right? This is something really, really important to understand. Now, why is this so important? If you don't have the right belief system, if you don't believe that it's real, you won't get the results you're looking for. I'm going to give you two examples here. One of my students, Kashi, right? He came in, he's studying university, he's actually delayed university because... He got his first sitting role within the first day of working together in the RSA. And the reason I'm smiling, I think it's just hilarious because it took me over a year to even get to where he is now. It's taking less than two months. He just landed a closing role with a multi seven figure e-commerce entrepreneur in less than 60 days, right? That's craziness. That's so amazing. And he's just 18 years old, right? Super, super young, crushing it, right? Now he got results really quickly. Why is this important? I'm going to talk about Ben as well. Ben also got amazing results really quickly. You see, uh, like one of the first videos I posted on my channel, right? He got a interview with a company and he landed his first role doing six figures in less than two weeks as a 21-year-old, going from seven dollars $800 a week, f- that's whatever he would earn forever, to, you know, two to 2.3K a week, right? absolute craziness, absolute madness. And Ben's absolutely crushing it uh, moving forward, like three, three, four months in, like he's doing super, super well setting for a very well established company here in Australia, right? Now, why did I tell you those two things? These people got results very quickly, right? And it happened just like that. What happens when you don't get uh, results, you get uh, discouraged, right? And you stop working for it. But the faster you get results, the sooner you believe it happens and believe it's possible, the more you feed back into that feedback loop and it turns into a compounding effect, right? I'm going to give you more examples here. So what I mean by that, that feedback loop, so beliefs, thoughts, actions, reality, feedback, right? This is literally the exact formula for you to design your dream reality and what you're looking for, right? This is really important to understand. Um... So like I mentioned, the feedback loop. So the first result that you get, the faster you get to the result, creates a faster compounding effect. The quicker that you see the result, even if it's so, so small, even if it's your first dollar making making money online, right? We're talking about this last night with Jordan as well. When he got started in affiliate marketing four, five, six years ago, when he made his first dollar online, it was like $2.86. But it was the fact that it was proof of concept. He believed it was possible, Right? This is really, really important to understand, guys. Proof of concept and the quicker you get to a result will lead to you having a compounding, larger, effective result over time. Hoping this is making sense. 
probably don't sound like a crazy person. Hope not, right? But I just, this really fascinated me because when I landed that first role with a management company, I was like, oh wow, this is actually, this is really, really possible. Like I can really do this. And I was making 20 to 25K a month at the time as you know, a 20 year old salesperson managing a team from a multi-million dollar company. How's this possible? It all starts up here. It all starts with the belief. And the more belief you have in yourself, the more proof of concept you can get. Hence why I built the RSA because you can talk to people like me who've done it. I can expose you to you know uh, people who are winning. You can be exposed to the community who are also winning every single week, every single day. And the more belief that you develop, the faster you will actually get the result. And not only the faster, the longer term and more sustainable this whole process will be, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that formula piece there, right? I'm gonna move on to the next thing. The next thing we talk about, I uh, talked about last night, is when you find a bad mentor, right? You're fucked because your belief is fucked, right? This is why when so many people come into the high ticket sales industry, they spend five grand, six grand, seven grand, eight grand, ten grand, and they don't get the results they're looking for, especially decent small results in a small amount of time. That's uh they they won't get the results they're looking for and they'll just leave the industry and they won't get the results. And this is why it pains me, this is why I created the RSA. So people actually get the results they're looking for when they get in the industry. They get everything they need. You don't get sold the dream, you get given the right expectations and you get everything that you need to succeed. The only thing that's preventing you from succeeding once you're inside the RSA is you. It's literally it. The program the, the program, the training, the system is so vetted for someone who's been there and done that for the past four plus years, there is no way that you can fail. Literally zero chance. You just have to put in the effort and you will make it work. But this is where most fail, right? They just don't have the right belief in themselves. And if you get a bad mentor, if you have one bad experience, it is so easy to uh, not get results at all or ever make money online. And so this is why I'm absolutely amazed and fascinated looking back. When I had a bad mentor, I didn't know it was a bad mentor. I didn't know that he sucked, right? But that's why I continued to persist because my belief was that this guy was the best person ever, right? But until I got in the industry and actually knew with some experience like what actually, um, what actually got results, then I had no idea. So I was just almost doing it on blind delusional faith that this was going to work. I was just so delusional that I just, I was like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this work, right? Which is super, super fascinating, interesting looking back. Another thing to touch on is basically creating your baseline and how that is a feedback loop. So the more income that you earn, the more you increase your baseline. And when you increase your baseline of belief of income, let's say you earn 10K a month, it's going to be actually really difficult for you to earn less than 10K a month because you've been exposed and you believe that the 10K per month is possible, right? Hoping that's making sense. When I built my marketing agency to 40K a month back in, I think it was April or March this year, right? Right before I started the RSA. That was all of a sudden the new standard. That was the new baseline that I wanted to earn. And my mind was exposed to a new belief system. I believed I, yeah, I believed and, and knew that it was possible because I was exposed to it. And ever since, I've never earned less, right? Why is that? It's because of the belief systems that I've built and the things that I've been exposed to. Now, the reason why so many people, I think, struggle to even get into this industry and actually pull the trigger on a course or a mentor or any training in the first place is because, um, you know, they're uninspired actions, Right? There's no belief there. Essentially, what you're doing is you're um, starting with the big circle, right? You're seeing this big circle of people that are inside that seem like this exclusive community that are working and getting getting it figured out, but for some reason, you can't, right? It's really, really hard from the outside looking in. And so the more, I guess, the, the less belief you have in yourself, the more difficult it's going to be. And so... This is the reason I wanted to create this video because I really think if you're watching this video and you're struggling with the belief, you don't know if it's possible, book on a call, have a chat with me, right? At the moment, I don't have any people that are taking calls from me. You're going to be taking, uh, talking to me directly one-on-one, -on -one, right? Which may not happen forever, who knows, but I'd like it to. And I think just sharing this experience and, and putting my thoughts into a video, I think it might really help someone out there who 
hasn't got results online yet, they're struggling, they can't figure it out, and they just don't know why. Most of the times, it's not the strategy, it's not the coach, it's not the, it's not the effort, it, it really is the mindset. As corny as it sounds, and as cliche as it sounds, that's where it all starts. Success and money starts up here, on the internal. Your internal world reflects your external world. And the sooner you realize it, the better results you'll get. All right. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I need to uh, uh, explain today. Hopefully you found today's video insightful and helpful. Uh, let me know if you did down below. But uh, yeah, if you want me to talk more about personal development concepts and things that, again, that I've learned from hanging around with you know multiple, multiple millionaires at very, very young ages, and of course, you know, very successful people in their, in their realm of endeavors, you know, I was hanging out with uh, one of the biggest artists in the techno space just over the weekend uh, in Kuala Lumpur with my friend Mason, right? Pretty crazy, right? And so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let me know if you guys want to see more of this type of content talking about personal development and, and the things that I've learned from spending time with very, very wealthy people, especially at, you know, very young ages. Let me know. And I'm, I'm definitely going to feel free to drop some free game and uh, some free value as I normally do. So, you know me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you found it insightful and I'll see you in the next one.